Good evening, it's your man Earl. It's Thursday, October 18th. We're in the home office. Great day once again. Uh, life, uh, getting used to this new normal, as you guys well know of. Uh, we've been out doing what? Creating and establishing uh, momentum. That's been the thought for the really the last week or so mentally. How do we get back in the groove? And so pulling out all the old notes, pulling out all the old books, refreshing uh, my memory on the things that I did before to get myself back to a place where I was uh, prior to the traumatic incident in the family. So uh, what's today's subject matter? Today is day 291, Life of a Champion. Not life of a champion, life of the champion. Why? Because a uh, is general, the is very specific. Now, what do I mean by that? I'm looking at sports as a model, looking at uh, people who are extremely successful in business. We're measuring strictly from a monetary perspective. Not that money is everything, but we have to have measures so you guys can understand where I'm coming from, right? Money's not everything to me, uh, but I can do a lot with a lot of money. And so we can do a lot of ministry with a lot of money. We can give away a lot of things with a lot of money. We can take care of a lot of family if we have a lot of money. So don't be all bent out of shape when we start talking about monetary gain and uh, those things of that nature, okay? So today is life, excuse me, uh, yeah, life of a champion. Life of, excuse me, life of the champion, right? Uh, day 291, the life of a champion, right? The life of the champion. Five areas that I want you to be reminded of. And if you don't know these things, this will be new for you. Get your pencil out because that's part of being a champion, being the champion. Now, we're not using champion as the supreme overall best. We're not looking at that. We're looking at your best. So you need to become the champion of your own success. And what do we mean by that? Here's what we're talking about. Five major areas that every champion has in their life. Number one, they get up early between the hours of 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. every day. Okay, the life of the champion is very monotonous. It's very disciplined. It's very regimented. All right. There's not room for whatever goes, flows. It's not uh, live by the cuff. No. When you want to be successful, when you want to be a champion, when you want to be the best that you can be, you begin to discipline yourself. So you're up every day, six to seven days a week. You're up, three to five a.m. Number two, all champions have written goals. Don't tell me that you're serious about pursuing your dreams, goals, and ambitions when you don't have your goals written down, preferably on a 3 by 5 postcard that you carry with you and you have one stuck to the mirror in your bathroom and one in your car, okay? Three, you operate from a position of purpose. Matter of fact, you have a singleness of purpose. Now, there's a lot of jargon out here about can you multitask, can you not multitask, I'm not here to argue that. I'm talking about having the life of the champion. You have singleness of purpose. Now, you can have multifacets to that, but guess what? You focus it on, lock in on one purpose, and you have singleness of purpose. And then, four, you have a plan. You have a three- to five-year plan with a 18-month audible. What do I mean by that? Once again, audible comes out of the football language. You don't know what's going to happen until you get to the line of scrimmage. And what's the line of scrimmage? When you wake up every day, when you go to work week by week, when you go to work month by month for yourself, you don't know what today's going to bring. So you have to be flexible within that 18th month period of time, especially with technology changing every day. There's movers and shakers that change technology. You can't be so rigid that you can't move and be flexible within your own three to five year plan. Right, my plan is 18 months now. I don't go any. I don't go past 18 months. Okay, three to five year business plan. I don't go past 18 months. Doesn't make sense because of technology. Okay, and then five. This is the one that really 
took me over the edge is journaling. I write down now every day. I got a calendar right now I write on. You see this? I got a calendar that I write on, okay? And in that calendar, okay, I take notes, I jot down notes, and I'm able to go back and look at items, look at things on the calendar, okay? You journal. You have a notebook of ideas. I'm a sketch pad guy. I got two or three journals. I have a calendar. I'm always writing stuff down. Why? Because that's what the life of a champion does. The life of the champion does. You're very specific. You don't take things for granted. You write things down. Okay? Life of the champion. Day 291, October 18th, 2018. Getting back at it. Establishing momentum. Establishing the habits, the things that you did prior to getting thrown off course, whether it be something that you can't stop, like loss of a loved one, or maybe you have a tremendous hiccup in business. Those things happen too. Okay? Life of a champion. Peace.